Hello everyone and welcome to a new loot video. Today we are gonna do loot from 1000 Amox Liatl. Gear and inventory is looking like this. I know the boss is weak to crush so uh, I will go with bludgeon and uh, ancient god sword as a spec weapon. Inventory and gear might change during the video so uh, this is gonna be more like a test run for me. For the collection log, we are 0 out of 4 and 0 kills. There's a new pet and 3 other unique items from this boss. I think you also can kill the uh, small versions of the boss as well to get these items, but I'm gonna kill the, I'm gonna kill the boss. With that being said, let's get started. the first kill with the first collection log nice hey pendants nice i have no idea what the dropper it is but uh very nice drop okay 14 kills for one trip that's not bad uh i think i i can do more but that's my first time so okay so rune light loot tracker isn't tracking the kills from this boss yet so i need to uh, note everything down of uh, what i got so far i think you can activate this one let's see yes you can so now i can teleport to this place so once you get a pendant you can activate uh, the statue i guess maybe you can do it before you get the pendant as well but uh, this is probably gonna be the best way to get to the to the boss There is 50 kill count. There is the first elite clue as well. Took 77 kills, not bad. And there is 100 kills, 900 to go. Hey, there it is, glacial something. I have no idea how you say that. Glacial temotli. Yeah, another one. Nice. There is 300 kills. 700 to go. Second elite clue. I have no idea what the drop rate is for uh, elite clues from this boss, but uh, two elite clues in 329 kills. There is 500 kills. We are officially halfway done. People are probably wondering how do I get to this new boss? Well, when you start to do the first kills, I will show you my first method that I used. I teleported my POH and used the Civitas Illas Fortis teleport. And I used the... Um, bird transportation to salvager overlook make sure to build this one because this isn't built when you are here the first time so make sure you have the items to build this once you are here you will run all the way down here to this place i'm not gonna do it now but just follow the path once you have killed the boss, there's a high chance you will get the uh, Pendant of Aids. So I can use this and use this teleport number two. You will be teleported right outside the uh, tower. One thing that is uh, important to remember is that you have to activate this statue. I have already done it, but you need to activate it for the teleport to be available for you. So. Once I'm here, I just go inside the tower and use the lift platform. Once I'm here, I go to the west and this is the boss. Let's do one example kill.
there it is. This took one minute and ten seconds. Um, usually I'm right under one minute, about 50 seconds or so. My PB is 34 seconds, so this boss can potentially be very quick to kill. And there is 700 kills. 300 to go. And we are now at 900 kills. And there is loot from 1000 Amoxliatl complete. This also means that I'm currently rank 2 for this boss. Which is probably gonna last for maybe half a day before someone else get it. So uh, at least I can brag about that. Before we check the total loot, we are gonna check the collection dog. We are 3 out of 4 and 1000 kills. No pets sadly. We got 9 glacial temotli, 37 pendants and 5617 frozen tears. Runelight loot tracker didn't track any of the kills, so I had to manually type every single drop on a notepad. And uh, this is what the total loot from 1000 Moxliatl looks like. And the total value is 16.9 mil. I guess this is, uh, this is a mid-level or mid-tier boss, so um, the loot might not be the best, but um, it's easy to kill and it's quick to kill so i'm not gonna complain when it comes to experience earned i earned about 700,000 hit point xp 2.1 million strength xp and 88,000 magic xp i used about 20 hours for 1000 kills and about 45 to 50 kills each hour when it comes to supplies used, I used about 80 Divine Super Combat Potions and 360 Prey Potions, 120 Sharks, 5000 Blood Runes, 10,000 Fire Runes and 1000 Cosmic Runes. I changed the inventory slightly during the video, so the new inventory I went for is looking like this. Once you get into the rhythm, you don't really need any food, only prayer. But mistakes can happen, which is why I brought three sharks and an ancient god sword as a spec weapon. If you are not gonna bring the Arceus spellbook with you, I do recommend you to bring high alks because the boss is gonna drop a lot of rune items. There is certain items that I didn't pick up, such as water talismans, but I will show you every single item in this nice little picture.